Alright, YouTube. It's gonna rain right now. Holy crap. It is like these clouds are coming in. My brother's cop guy. <laughs> you don't know how many people have fooled by this damn thing. He is so freaked out. Like, oh my god. Alright, so this is the. Um, I think it's a better light in here. I'm sorry, guys. Alright, guys, this is my. Um, Hoover and Wind Tunnel from 2007 or 8. This has been a pretty good vacuum. Um, And somebody requested me. I can't remember his last name. It was. Oh, God. What was it? His name? I don't know. But it's a really nice kitty sound. That it looks like. And, um. This is a uh, Hoover and Wind Tunnel. So, well, uh, first you're going to want to look at the vacuum. And say, hey, why isn't it sucking up when it's supposed to, how it used to? Well, first you're going to want to push that down and put it in the lock position. Now, being in the lock position does not cover everything that you may encounter with this vacuum. I like this vacuum. Hey, there's my Kirby, by the way. I need to make another video on that vacuum. You know, the electrolux is in here. I haven't used it in a while. All right, so... <laughs> I have them on some. Now here, that's one screw, two screw, three screw, four screw, and that little retainer clip. So how are you going to get that out? You're going to take a flathead screwdriver, pop that out, and this entire thing will come off once you get it off. And then, we can get into the belt area. So the belt is pretty, it's pretty cheesy, simple, easy. So in here, you're going to have your belt, okay? And then it runs right here, and then your little skinny belt. Now, you never, that's like, a, that, I never replaced that belt on this. No, it's from 2007. It's six years old. This, I'm going to be six years old pretty soon. Yeah, it's about, actually, it's going to be seven years old. Coming up. So, you're going to want to take off all three or four of these screws. You're going to look in there. There's going to be this fat-ass dry belt. Okay, I'm not going to take it apart because... I don't have time to explain, but, um, so you're going to take that dry belt off, you're going to roll it off, you're going to pull it off, and you're going to check it, if it has gouges or something in it, toss it aside, and then you'll put a new, um, uh, belt in it, and, uh, that should pretty much fix everything. Um, uh, I recommend you change a belt every five, actually, uh, every six months. Six months, change the belt, because... You can hit a lot of things with this and think your engine's still okay, and I can seize up your engine. So, um, yeah, and then it just per it just stretches out. I wish they could make an Everlast belt for these uh, vacuums, especially Kirby's. Oh my God, they eat belts. Okay, and Royals. The Royals really do eat belts. Oh my God, roll back there. I'm not gonna have to do a video on that. But uh, this is the vacuum, and um. Well, that's how you also know when your brushes need to be placed. Like, these brushes are still screaming good. Like, not these, because these are old. But, um, uh, they're still pretty good. So. <laughs> how much crap this vacuum I have to deal with. Um, so, yeah. And, uh, this is going to be this video. And, um, uh, guys, it's just easy, okay? Um, I'm sorry, I, I can't remember your name, uh... Um, we don't have any videos, so I wish you would make videos on it, but, uh, yeah, so, um, I'm just saying, you know, you should keep that propped up, or just, just disconnect it, because I've had it turned on while I was fixing it, and, and my foot got, and my finger got caught in it, which really didn't feel that well, so, guys, um, so you take off your belt, and then you... How you get it back on, you put the little skinny side on, and you roll it on. And it, and it works, okay? This is the end of this video. Please comment, subscribe.